it's just the sheer volume and the, the fact that she doesn't tour very much. So there's the economic principle of scarcity. The Rolling Stones have done this over the years. You know, the Dead will play 70, 80, 90 shows a year. That's what they did for, for, for 40 years and they've continued to do it. The Rolling Stones go out every five years to promote an album. And so there's a pent up demand that happens over a period of time. And I think Taylor has, has done that. So if she toured more, there would be less demand for each concert. And so I think a lot of her fans probably want her to tour a little bit more. She probably has to. I think she added some dates. Um, and I think that's part of it is just the fact that there's just so much demand and there's so little supply. So maybe she'll go out on the road more and musicians are really making more money on the road than they are in the studio these days. So there's a, a pressure for them to, uh, to play concerts because that's where the money is. So, I, you know, I think what's cool about Taylor is that it doesn't even look like there's any marketing happening. It just, it looks like she's in charge of it. I know better. I know that it's a machine, but it's so natural. It's so authentic. And, and she's like, she's an every woman. It's, it's, it's everyone can really relate to her. And that's her appeal. And it's really hard to, to put a finger on it. Plus she's an excellent musician. She's just really excellent at what she does. So I think the marketing looks effortless. And, and that's the, that's its genius. They're obviously great at social media, um, you know, which you have to be in, in this day and age, but everyone's on social media. So what? There's a million people trying to get attention on social media. So what does she have? Well, it's a combination of a lot of different characteristics. It's the it. And I don't think anybody has ever really been able to adequately describe what the it actually is. I wish I had it.